Hi again. I hope that you've been enjoying the videos and I hope that you're finding them helpful and that you're getting better in touch with your body. Today I'm going to be working on uh, the Pilates exercise called the single leg stretch. It's an exercise to strengthen the stomach muscles. It involves moving the legs to add a little more challenge for the abdominal muscles. And uh, I'm going to give you a couple of different versions. For people who have uh, trouble with their neck or upper back, oftentimes uh, people who are really old, I shouldn't say really old, people who are getting older have trouble lying flat. So having a little something supporting under the shoulders and the head is quite helpful. Or people who have had either upper back or neck injuries and they have a lot of pain lifting their head um, from a reclining position, it's helpful for them also. So I'm going to show you in just a moment how to use something like this pillow to sort of set yourself up and then I'm going to take the pillow away and show you the version of the exercise where you do lift your head. The only difference is you aren't going to be lifting your head off the pillow if you have to use the pillow. Okay? Now you don't have to have a big old wedge pillow like this. You can use several bed pillows. Um, I would put a couple on top of each other and then do another one sort of in front of it to add a little more cushioning so that you don't sort of have a hole and you're supported all the way from your upper back to your head. So already by having my upper body like this it's causing my upper abdominals to have to be ever so slightly contracted. The leg position starts like this. You're going to bring your legs up and it's hard to see here, but I've got my knees open to the width of my shoulders and my toes are touching. And you rest your hands on your knees and lift your elbows, but you support from underneath the shoulder blades. Okay? I changed my mind. I'm going to show you a version here. So, you take a breath in, as you exhale, you flatten your abdominals back and across, and you reach one leg out. Pretend like there's a, excuse me, pretend like there's a stick coming out of your sits bone, and it's reaching sort of at maybe a 45 degree angle from your body. You're going to slide your foot out along that stick in a straight line, and then you're going to slide it right back in. What you don't want to do is reach it out and drop it and then lift it and bring it back in. That will probably cause you to pooch your abdominals. So we take a breath in. Rest your right hand on top of your left knee. Keep both elbows reaching out. As you exhale, flatten your tummy back and across. Keep exhaling as you slide that leg straight out in a straight line from the hip socket. Can you see that imaginary line under my leg? You stay there, you inhale, then you exhale, you flatten your stomach again, and pretend like it's your stomach muscles flattening and that's what causes you to bring the leg in. I'll do it on the other leg. Inhale, you exhale, you flatten your abdominals back and across, left hand on the right knee, and reach that left leg out, keeping your stomach muscles flattening, 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 Inhale here, exhale, flatten your stomach again to bring the leg back in. That is one repetition of the single leg stretch. So I like to tell my clients, ooh, excuse my hair, I like to tell my clients that you want to use your stomach muscles both as your leg goes out and then you want to get a fresh exhale, a fresh contraction of the stomach muscles and use it again as you bring your leg in. So let me show you how we do it when we lift the head. Now as you're lifting your head, you don't want to lift kind of from your neck and tighten all up in there. What's really lifting you, or where you're lifting from, I should say, your breastbone. Pointing the breastbone to the pubic bone, closing the ribs right underneath the breastbone. 
pulling the pubic bone up toward the breastbone and flattening this belly button back and across. You also are going to be sliding your shoulder blades down in a V. And then you're going to reach the crown of your head to the wall above you. Then as you start to curl forward, think of skimming your head over the ceiling. And then you're going to point it down in toward your lap. So it looks like this. Your legs are here in the air. Same starting position. You take a breath in, you exhale, flatten your belly button back and across, slide your shoulder blades down, reach your head up, and let your upper abdominals curl you forward. Take another breath in. As you exhale, slide this leg out on the imaginary pole, stay there, inhale. As you exhale, Flatten your stomach again and slide this leg in. Put your head down while you inhale. <clears throat> Let that breath go. Take another breath in. As you exhale, flatten your stomach back and across. Slide your shoulder blades down. Lengthen the crown of your head and curl forward. Take another breath in. Exhale, flatten your stomach again, slide this other leg out on that imaginary pole, leave your leg there, inhale, as you exhale, flatten the stomach and use your abs to bring the leg back in, inhaling, lower the head. Let me do a couple of reps just in succession so that you can see sort of the flow of the exercise. Inhale, exhale, flatten the abdominals, curl the head forward. Inhale again, exhale, flatten the abdominals, reach the leg. Inhale, exhale, flatten the abdominals, bring the leg in. Inhale, put the head down. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, slide the shoulder blades down, curl the head forward. Inhale here, exhale, flatten the abdominals again, slide the leg out on the imaginary pole. Inhale there, exhale, flatten the abdominals again to bring the leg back in. Inhale as you put the head down. Now I'm going to do a few more reps that you can follow along, but I wanted to give you one little tip. And I'll be darned if I can't remember what it was. Okay, I guess I'm not going to give you a little tip right now. I'm going to fix my hair. And let's go back to it. I'm going to do, oh, I remembered what the tip was. I have seen people do this really fast and move your legs really, really fast. I don't like to do it that way for a couple of reasons. It causes you to kind of push your stomach out, and we're trying to flatten our stomachs. And it also doesn't provide you the time to really, truly feel everything that's going on in your body. So go slower. You'll feel it better. You'll have better control of your abdominal muscles. And going slower also makes it a little bit more challenging. So now, I'm going to do, let's do four reps. Inhale, exhale, flatten the abdominals, slide the shoulders down and curl the head forward. Inhale, exhale, flatten the abdominals, reach the leg out. Inhale, exhale, flatten the abdominals, bring the leg back in. Inhale, the head goes down. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, curl the head forward. Inhale, exhale, flatten the abdominals, slide that leg out. Inhale. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, bring the leg back in. Inhale, put the head down. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, curl the head forward, slide the shoulder blades down. Inhale. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, reach that leg out. Inhale. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, bring that leg back in. Inhale, lower the head. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, slide the shoulders down, curl the head forward. Inhale. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, reach the leg out. Inhale, exhale, flatten the abdominals, bring the leg back in. Inhale, head down. 
In exhale, flatten the abdominals, slide the shoulders down, curl the head forward, inhale, exhale, reach the leg out while you continue to flatten the abdominals, inhale, exhale, flatten the abdominals and bring the leg back in, inhale, put the head down. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, slide the shoulder blades down, inhale, exhale, flatten the abdominals, reach the leg out, inhale, flatten the abdominals, bring the leg back in. Inhale, head down. One more time. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, slide the shoulder blades down, curl the head forward. Inhale. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, reach the leg out. Inhale. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, bring the leg back in. Inhale, head goes down. Exhale, flatten the abdominals, slide the shoulder blades down, curl the head forward. Inhale. Exhale, slide the leg back out. Inhale, exhale, bring the leg in. Inhale, put your head down. So I have one last tip. A way that you can make it slightly more challenging if and when this becomes too easy. Keep your head up while you take one leg out and bring it in. Keep your head up while you take the other leg out and bring it in. And then put your head down. If and when that gets too easy, keep your head up for two repetitions. When that gets easy, add one more, add one more. Eventually, you can do the whole set with your head staying up. But don't try and jump ahead. If you find that you leave your head up and your neck is getting tired and you're beginning to lose your abdominal contraction, bump it back down. What's most important is that you really keep your abdominals flat and contracted, and then you can add the challenge of keeping your head up more. I hope this helps. As always, if you have any questions or any comments, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks. See you next time.